All right, movie lovers, as I've mentioned, this whole month of January is devoted to Tom Cruise in my new series, Tom Cruise's Movie Reviews. And we're kicking it off with one of his earlier films, definitely one that has become a meme that every pop culture infused thing will imitate. Wait, we're not doing that yet. That's right, Risky Business. Wait, a big part of this movie centers around sex and specifically prostitution, which are topics I don't normally discuss. So as much as I need the watch time, if that's not your bag, then... It's okay to run away screaming now. Okay, cue the intro. So, Risky Business was released way back in 1983. It was written and directed by Paul Brickman, who I'm assuming looks like this in his first of only three director credits. It stars Tom Cruise. No, not yet. With his first leading role, following his supporting role in Taps. But seriously, make sure to like this video. And if you're just here to sing along to the old time rock and roll, that part's coming soon. He stars alongside Rebecca Demone. Also her first major role. She's been in tons of movies, but my favorite one is Feds in 1988. If you're enjoying the rookie Feds on TV right now, then you might get a kick out of this one. So Tom Cruise plays Joel Goodson. Not good son as I thought it was. And Demone plays Lana. We'll talk about Lana in a bit. Notable supporting cast includes Curtis Armstrong, or Booger as he's more commonly known, as Joel's best friend Miles. Bronson Pinchot, known for later becoming Cousin Balky as Joel's economic friend, and Joe Pantoliano, that traitor guy in the Matrix, as Guido the Pimp. Okay, so plot time. Joel starts the movie by narrating a dream that he had about a girl to his high school buddies. His dad is pressuring him to get into his alma mater, Princeton. Hey, funny note, Brooks Shields was allegedly offered the role as Lana, but turned it down because she was attending Princeton. He wanted to focus on her schooling. Good for you. Which is why he's in a club called Future Enterprisers, which start their own business. And that'll come back later. So Joel's parents go away for a long trip or something and give him a speech. Joel says, oh, hey, dad, if you want, I can give your car a spin, you know, so it doesn't go bad and stuff. And of course, wait, it's a Porsche. So of course he's like, no, 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 no. And his mom is all like, we trust your judgment. Yeah, I call mom. So after his parents go, the first thing that happens is he takes that Porsche and go joyriding. No, I'm just kidding. The first thing he does is become a pop culture legend. So here you go. You've earned it. Just take those old Here's some interesting trivia. That whole thing was just ad-libbed by Tom Cruise. Brickman told them to go listen to some rock music and the rest is history. So yeah. After some cruising around, Miles has a great idea to look through the personal ads and to call a call girl to Joel's house as a prank. Later, he's gone and she shows up and is a guy in drag, which let's just say wasn't Joel's cup of tea. But they were kind enough to give him Lana's phone number. So 17 year old Joel calls up a legitimate call girl and has the night of his life until the next day when she demands $300 for her services. And he leaves Lana alone in his house to cash in his savings bond, guess daddy's gonna have to sell that Porsche if he really wants his son to go to Princeton now. When he gets back, surprise, she's gone, and so is his mom's fancy priceless glass egg thingy. Somehow, and I don't understand how, he finds her at a restaurant. But things turn when she gets into a fight with her pimp, Guido, who chases them down in a car chase. Yada yada yada, Lana decides she wants to use Joel's house for a one night brothel to make a crap ton of money off of all of his friends. Joel says, yeah, no thanks, but then accidentally sends his dad's Porsche into Davy Jones' locker. And he suddenly needs a crap ton of money. So Ray Bans gets one of their best promotions ever while Joel goes to tell all the local boys to sell it. Then that night, while in the middle of doing all the brotheling, the Princeton recruiter shows up to interview Joel. He kind of mucks it up and has this lovely line. So, how we doing? It's like University of Illinois. And that face. It's okay though. The recruiter partakes in the festivities himself and ends up approving him. Hashtag life skills. So with that behind him, they rack up the money and Joel and Lana go have a long scene enjoying themselves in a one car train. I'm not from a big city, but is that a thing? When Joel comes home, everything is gone. Everything. So he gets a hold of Guido who happens to be in possession of all of it and has to buy everything back off him with all of his extra leftover cash. And then there's a race to get it all put back before his parents get home. 
And that's Risky Business. It's not Cruz's first movie, but it's his first title role, and it definitely shot him into stardom. Fun fact, even though nowadays we're just used to 35-year-olds playing teenagers, Brickman wanted Tom Cruise, who was 20 at the time, to look 17, so they had him work out for 7 days a week to lose 10 pounds, and then eat a bunch of fatty foods to give him that layer of baby fat? Interesting. This month being Tom Cruise's movie reviews, I have some check marks of what makes a great Tom Cruise film. Let's see how Risky Business holds up. Was he running like a madman? Did he ride a motorcycle? Nope. Was he shirtless? You betcha he was! Was he hanging from something? No, he did slide across the floor in his socks, but does that count? Any crazy stunts done himself? He wasn't really in that mode yet. And big old teeth Tom Cruise grin? Yep, we got that. Affirmative. So he scored. Ding, ding, ding. Not too bad for his first role, but he'll definitely get into the swing of things. So I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. It's been so far infused into the zeitgeist of what's cool to do when you're a kid home alone. But until recently, I kind of forgot that it was actually about a brothel. But it's all right. What do you think about it? All right. With this being Tom Cruise month, my next video will, of course, be another Cruise film. I'm not doing them all in chronological order, but the second one seems to be like a good starting off point. So here's another video you'll like to watch next while I leave you with one last of what you came for. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at MrMovieLVR. And I am Mr. Movie Lover, and I'll see you back again real soon. Bye-bye.